know. Uh, I know, you know, I've said this all the time. From one game to the next, sometimes they go in or they don't go in. And sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't. And, you know, after the Kansas State game, you know, I was you know, checking myself because I knew I put that on me. Uh, you know, three-point game and two-point game, have to take game when shot, shoot an air ball, you know. Senior leader and a guy trying to make a statement in his last year of college basketball does not need to be doing that. I know that, so you know, took that in the next couple of days. Uh, working, working on my focus. Um, came out here real early today for the game, moving around, just shooting a lot of game shots, and you know that that helped me definitely. How much did you work on in the all season, making a hard step after getting the after getting the ball and not just being a catch and shoot kind of guy? That, that was pretty much the the whole thing that. Uh, I worked on, um, you know, coming down some down screens. We set up cones to be to try and operate in a little area, be able to catch it, and you know, either take one dribble hard and then make a move, and uh, also in transition, you know, push it up when they kick it up to me, instead of just you know catching and shooting it, maybe a pump fake or like an in and out move. And so, that, those are definitely the primary focuses throughout the offseason. You know, just make the game better. Marshall, you're making bigger passes now, too. Is that just kind of evolving your game a little bit? Just now? Yeah, I mean, just making big passes, you know, to open I guys. I think I've always done that. People just don't ever give me credit for that. I've always done that. My favorite pass was coming out, and there's two guys coming, just drop it right in there. I made that pass every all time last year. Defensively, Marshall, y'all struggle to guard these guys off the dribble. Could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, that's you know been one of our main problems you know, this year. Uh, that zone is pretty effective for us. wasn't really effective today, as we were hoping. You know, but Oregon, I think give them some credit too. They uh, they move the ball and they're fast. Probably the fastest team we'll play all year. Uh, you know, they they move the they move the ball. They, that was a clinic on how to move move the ball around, get everyone involved. And so you know, I mean, giving up 115 points is a lot of points. And uh, you know, haven't been able to look at it yet. So when we after we look at the film, we'll be able to figure it out. Just how bad it was. When Jarvis hit that shot, did y'all was there a sense that this game was y'all's? I mean, did, did it seem like oh this was goodness. like inevitability? Yeah, you know, and I thought I hit that shot at the buzzer. It looked, uh, I thought I thought it was in, and then you know, normally that's the way it goes in basketball. A team, if a home team hits a buzzer or something, goes to overtime. The, the momentum, you know, that last year Vanderbilt hit a shot at the buzzer, go to overtime, just momentum rides all the way through. It's crazy, but you know, turn turn the ball over on the first play giving them an easy layup, it didn't help us at all. And, you know, that's, I thought we were going to have it, but let it slip. How much has this last week been a, a good test for you guys to see where you are at this point? Yeah, well, we knew this, you know, going on, going into it, that we needed to be 6-0. and And uh, didn't know how good the teams would be out in Brooklyn. And we, needed, we knew we needed to take care of those. And uh, we did. And going to Kansas State, we knew that they had their backs against the wall and their physical team. We knew that, that you know their back was against the wall and they had to win that game. And you know we went out there and we had a chance. Lost by three. Like all right, well regroup. You know there's no time to whine about it. We got Oregon coming at home and just let this one slip. And that was a test. You know playing two teams, one on the road, one at home, and losing by the way we lost. You know it hurts, but at the end of the day we we lost the game. And it's gonna be the same way in the SEC. When those games are close, we need to be able to get over the hump and, and win those games and grind them out in the end or, you know, we'll be on the outside looking in. What's the transition been like for you to come off the bench instead of starting games? Uh, you know, I haven't really cared. I mean, like I thought I would. Uh, I knew the first couple of games probably, probably would be coming off the bench. And then I've just been over there. And, you know, I, my favorite two players in the NBA are J.R. Smith and Jamal Crawford. So I just took that mentality into it, you know. Six man of the year, that's a award I don't have. So <laughs> that's that, you know, just, I, I mean, I'm, no, I'm not big into looking at it. Um, I remember last year things weren't going for us, and me and Coach, you know, kind of was like come off the bench at the end of the year a little bit, switch things up. And so I'm, I'm just going to go with it. I how, trust Coach. So. How, how much improvement have you seen in Derek and Jarvis this season, maybe from last oh, year? Oh, man, it, exponentially better. Um, it's just, you know, Derek goes in there and he makes. All kinds of crazy shots. I don't. I don't know how he does it. He's like five five. Like, how does he drive in there and make all these? 
Chuck said he, he didn't make last year. And, you know, Jarvis's game, ever since that first game, you know, when he went for 28 or whatever it was, he just carried that all the way through. And but we, we probably knew more with Jarvis than Derek that that would happen because, you know, Jarvis is, you know, point guard and leader. He always he shows up every day with the same mindset. You always know what you're going to get from Jarvis Summers. And, you know, that's, that's a quality that we try and, you know, make everyone kind of like Nick Williams last year that we want everyone on our team to have. And so we, we probably knew Jarvis, you know, would be ready for it. But Derek, that's just another weapon. Anything else? When, you, when did you know tonight might be a special night for you individually? When did I know tonight? Yeah, you might have a big game. When did you kind of Oh, uh, man, I mean, I've been waiting. Uh, I looked, I was, you know, I've been waiting for it this year. You know, not, I can't see you really frustrated, but I was like, like, come on. And I looked at it last year, it was about, you know, just, I mean, I didn't really do much at the beginning of the year. And then kind of towards the middle is when I started to pick things up a lot more. So I was like, okay, maybe it'll be the same way this year. And then tonight, you know, I made the first shot in the first couple. And then after that, I missed a few, but I, they were open. And their their defense, I knew there was going to be a lot of open shots. And then just one, two, three, and then I was like, all right, let's go. Thanks, Marshall.